Hi! Wait until you see just how gorgeous the butterflies are from the new Butterfly Wishes stamp set as I demonstrate for you my clean and simple butterflies card. The detail and shading you get with the new Butterfly Wishes stamp set is remarkable! I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 18 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So I'll be using one of the new 2019-2021 in colors for my clean and simple butterflies card. But stick around because at the end I'm going to show you the same card in the other four new in colors. Here's a closer view of the new gorgeous Butterfly Wishes stamp set with the amazing shading and detail. Look at that! It'll be even more obvious when we stamp with it. Now we're able to get that level of shading and detail because this is a distinctive stamp set and that's a patent pending process Stampin' Up! has developed for making stamps to give us amazing shading and detail. The Butterfly Wishes stamp set, well it's from the new 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! catalog that starts today, June 3rd, 2019. We can start ordering all the new goodies in here today. And I want to show you something else. The Butterfly Wishes stamp set, well it coordinates with the Butterfly Duet Punch. This butterfly and that butterfly will punch out with that. Love it when we have a coordinating punch or die. And let me show you something to make that even easier for you to know that. As you're browsing through the new 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! catalog, here we are on page 18 with the Butterfly Wishes stamp set pictured. And these two butterflies, uh, stamps I just pointed out to you, well look, they're shaded in cream. When you see something shaded in cream, it tells you there's a coordinating punch and it will tell you in the description coordinates with Butterfly Duet Punch and the page 188. Okay, the same here at the Label Me Pretty stamp set as a coordinating punch. And when you see something shaded in gray, like this pocket for the pocket full of happiness, it has a coordinating die set. So an easy key to find out if there's a coordinating die or punch for stamp sets that you're looking at. I'm using Whisper White Thick Cardstock today. I highly recommend whenever you want to stamp on white or cream cardstock that you use the Whisper White or Very Vanilla cardstock. It has a tight, smooth finish that takes ink for beautiful, crisp, clear images. All right, so we're going to start with the new Pretty Peacock, one of the 2019-2021 in colors. We're going to flip this up and slide it in. Now, I did take a little bit of Vaseline on a Q-tip, very little, and greased up my track so this slides nice and easily, okay? So a quick swipe on my stamping sleeves because I pick up ink from everywhere. <laughs> All right, we turn it this way. We're going to start with this beautiful branch. Okay, give that an inking. And I'm going to go off the edge a little bit so my branch isn't floating. Okay, wait till you see this. Oh! gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So here we have a butterfly. This is a really quick and easy card. Come over here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. And then we have this little one. We'll come up over here. Oh my goodness, I just love this set. <laughs> All right, so we're done with that. So a little push and we'll pull to close it and then click. You want to hear that click, make sure it's closed. Final swipe on our stamping sleeves so we don't smudge ink. That We got ink on our hands, opening and closing the pads from who knows where. <laughs> it comes from all over. Okay, so I have this greeting that's included in the stamp set. A sweet friendship refreshes the soul. And with my first draft, I did that also in The Pretty Peacock. I thought, hmm, I wonder if I'd like it better in black. And I really did. So I'm using the Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. Here we go. And let's ink this up. And right down here. Aha. Beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so now um, 
we're going to use some more black. So I'm going to mount this on some pretty peacock cardstock. But I'm going to give a little hint of black. So we're going to turn this over. I have my snail adhesive. There we go. And And this is this is when I was so thrilled I'd been saving all those scraps, you know, you trim down. I'm sure this had been a layer and I had a lot of these strips left over. I thought, perfect, that's why we save them. And now, and this is why I'm using the Whisper White Thick. I wanted the heaviness of the body because I'm going to adhere this with Stampin' Dimensionals. That extra lift is a great way to dress up a card. And this card is quite simple, but oh so lovely. And then just one more in the center because that is a big piece. And I'll have a link to my blog post with all the measurements. And so then you take your thumbnail, press down. It'll work with a short thumbnail. And that makes the edge of that backing pop up. So it's really easy to remove. And so here we go. This is what I found to work best for me. It was to go backwards. Here we go. So I could see that I was lining up to the edge. Instead of trying to look through and over myself. So we want that to be edge to edge. And that little bit of lift really is sharp. Isn't that, oh, see, there's ink. <laughs> That's how it happens. Isn't that pretty? My goodness, the elegance of this, the shading, the detail, just amazing. And so then, you know, our Whisper White envelopes, that same good finish to take ink for beautiful stamped images. So here we go, once again with the pretty peacock. Flip it up. Oh, fantastic. And then we're going to use the big, I believe that's a monarch butterfly. Come down here in the corner. Look at him. Holy smokes, he is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is my June 2019 thank you card. So when you place your Stampin' Up! order of $25 or more in product, I'm going to send you one of my Butterfly Wishes cards. And I promise to show you this in the other in colors. Are you ready? Here we go. Seaside spray. Oh my goodness. So every time I stamp one of them, I thought, okay, that's my favorite. And then I stamp another one. I'm like, oh no, that one's my favorite. <laughs> and so I'm having a hard time picking a favorite. Here we have the terracotta tile. Mm -mm -mm. Rococo rose. Oh, that is gorgeous. And then we have Purple Posy. So I need to tell you a little something about Purple Posy. My pad is perfectly fine. Some of the pads were not during the demonstrator pre-order. So Stampin' Up! has turned that off while they get the quality issue worked out because of course they want you to have a good pad, a high quality pad that you expect from Stampin' Up! And so at the beginning of May, they said it would be a couple months or more. So now we're in a month. I don't have any more updates about that, but you can order all of the other in color ink pads right now, except for Purple Posy. And then here we have again, <laughs> our beautiful pretty peacock. So here are my Butterfly Wishes cards in the five in colors. Trying to pick a favorite isn't easy. But when you place your $25 or more June 2019 order with me, one of these will show up in your mailbox. If you'd like to make my clean and simple butterflies card using the gorgeous Butterfly Wishes stamp set, all the supplies are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And remember, when you place your June 2019 Stampin' Up! order of $25 or more with me, I'm going to send you one of my clean and simple Butterfly Wishes card. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.